With a show of military might and political devotion, the coffin of Hugo Chavez once again made its way through the streets of Caracas. This brings to an end 10 days of national mourning that have seen unprecedented scenes of emotional tribute. Speaking publicly for the first time, Hugo Chavez's daughter, Maria Gabriela, promised the gathered dignitaries that her father's legacy will persevere. Vuela libre gigante. Fly freely and breathe deep with the winds of the hurricane. We will care for your fatherland and defend your legacy. You will never leave. Your flame is in our hands. For now, Chavez will be laid to rest here at the Museum of the Bolivarian Revolution, where he planned a failed coup attempt in 1992. Plans to embalm the 58-year-old have most likely been shelved, and the final resting place of the man who led Venezuela for 14 years is still not known. And with the mourning period over, many are expecting campaigning to begin in earnest. For these Chavez supporters, there's little doubt his chosen heir, interim president Nicolas Maduro, will prevail. The Comandante left us with an instruction manual. Maduro has that manual and so do the people. It tells us to be united and fight with our honest work. We will follow it and continue the revolution. Tomorrow is a new day and we need to start focusing on the coming elections. I want to tell the opposition that they don't have a chance. Venezuela's opposition has accused the government of exploiting the death of Chavez for political gain. And there's little doubt his image will dominate April's general election. And the government have wasted little time in making their plans known. Those in the crowd were given this newspaper, reportedly written by Hugo Chavez. It's a virtual manifesto outlining the plans for Venezuela for the next six years. Proof, if it were needed, that Chavez's influence is still very much alive. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Caracas.